Wednesday. Not really sure. Been up since uh, five o'clock this morning dealing with an offer with uh, one of my clients. And we are in the back and forth stages of that offer. It's a property that um, is coming to market. Uh, when is it coming to market? Coming to market today, which is Wednesday. So it is Wednesday today. And um, it's a bully offer. So I want to just pop on and talk a little bit about what a bully offer is, why they're relevant, what's happening, you know, in today's marketplace. Should you accept bully offers? What's best for you as uh, a seller? So a bully offer is basically an offer that um, is above what the asking price is. A lot of times bully offers come in when people, when a client, a seller decides to hold offers. So um, they're holding offers until let's say it's Wednesday, let's say they're holding offers until Sunday and a bully offer comes in um, and says, we're gonna pay the purchase price plus you know, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100,000, whatever the number is, more than what you're asking. Typically, the conditions are favorable, if there are any, quicker conditions. Uh, so my clients, I can't divulge obviously any information, it's not a firm deal, or it's not an, even an accepted deal, but we're in the process of dealing with um, an offer that has come in. We're not even on the market yet. So um, the offer, I'm not even necessarily talking about my client situation, but the offer has to be a really good offer in order for us or anybody else who's thinking about it um, to come on the market, right? Otherwise, why not go test the market? And we're in the market right now. It's a marketplace where uh, you can test the market. Specifically, if you're under a million dollars and you're priced well, like... You're not like if your home is worth seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, or pick a number. You shouldn't be coming on the market at like eight hundred. Let's try the market. Come on at seven fifty, or come on at seven, you know, seventy five. Come on within reason of the comparables versus what your house is and what the value of your house is based on the finishes, the location. You know, does it back onto a park, or does it have a swimming pool, or finished basement, or all those things add up and subtract depending on. You know, is your house half decently finished or does it need a full gut? Um, there's a buyer out there looking to buy your house right now. So you can get into a bidding war, right? Or multiple offers competition, kind of the same thing. Um, if it's done correctly. My advice is that if you have a property that is gonna be high in demand that you do hold offers and price it what the current market value is or slightly under it. So if it's like say 750 grand and it's an area where everybody wants to get into and specifically if it needs a lot of renovations and people are gonna buy this house because one, they think they're potentially gonna make some money or two, they wanna renovate it and make it their own. Price it just under. And you can you can get more money than um, pricing it too high and then having to reduce it. It's a psychological effect. So that's number one. Number two, um, make sure that when you are doing these, uh, if you're entering into the situation, make sure you understand what you're entering into that, and that you may not get multiple offers. So perception is everything when you hit the market. If you have and look like you have a ton of value, the chances are you're gonna get multiple offers. But if you price it too high, again, it keeps coming back to you. price it too high, it is what it is, right? So, but a bully offer to really kind of come full circle is an offer that says, you're listed at 750, here's 800,000 before you accept offers. The seller has the right to look at any offers. So, a little bit of real estate knowledge this morning. Um, 
I just left Lowe's. Had to pick up some things for a new job we're starting today. It's a new uh, bathroom renovation that's probably gonna turn into a second bathroom renovation and then a full main floor um, gut and redo. So that's cool. Uh, looking forward to this job. The clients are awesome people. And um, if you're thinking about renovating, we're, we're getting super busy. Um, like really busy and we can only take on so many renovations uh, if you're a realtor watching this yes I am a realtor but we have a full construction company and, um, we we work with a lot of realtors and have a very good track record with realtors so we, we look at the construction uh, from an investment standpoint so we're not there to spend your clients money or if you're not a realtor and you're just a client, we're not here to just spend your money. Every dollar we put in, there's a reason why we're doing it. And we want to extract as much value out of the renovation as possible. So if you put in you know, 10,000 in, the goal is to try and at least get 50% on top of what you put in back, so it'd be $15,000. Hard to kind of break down unless you sell the house, but um, we're not here to try and get the most expensive tile or the you know most expensive vanities or and not just the cheapest. We're here to provide value, give you great products at great prices, um, fair labor, and we project manage the entire project. So this video is a little bit longer, rambling a lot. I'm gonna cut to some uh, some pans of the project we're starting. Listen, go and have yourself a fantastic day. Wednesday afternoon, and I'm coming back from Hamilton. So, we had something happen last night and very early this morning, and now this afternoon, they've got a conditional sale on my a latest listing 100 Graham Avenue. We haven't hit the market yet, I've already sold it. Crazy. So, it's been a tough, I can't disclose anything because we're conditional, um, but it's been tough to try and figure out from a negotiation standpoint, do we hit the market or do we not hit the market and take this offer? Uh, because the offer is a very strong offer. But um, there's always a chance in this market that you could get something kind of crazy, multiple offers, blah, 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 right? So, uh, but after very serious consideration of everything involved, it's very, uh, it's, a, it's a smart financial decision. Um, take this offer and see what happens. So we're still going to hit the market and uh, we're still going to do an open house this Sunday. 100 Graham Avenue South, Lawrence and Ottawa Street area in Hamilton. It's a beautiful area. Very trendy up and coming. A lot of homes are being Transform this. I'm going over the Skyway Bridge right now. I apologize if it's rattling. It's. I don't know why they can't get this bridge ever in half decent shape. They literally start at one end, go over top, 
and then start all over again because the roads here are just absolutely atrocious. I know it gets a lot of traffic, but it's like, come on guys, like let's figure it out. I don't know if this is like a make work project or what, but anyways, um, we are, so we are gonna be conditional on that property. I've got a couple of other listings that are like pending because we're showing property as well. I'm showing property as well. Um, I got people calling. I don't know if the, if it's muting the mic or whatever. But anyways, it's been busy today. I've been at the gym uh, with a good buddy of mine. I'm going to see some of that. It's been a great day. Um, I'm off to hockey practice, and then I've got hockey tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm going to be dropping hockey videos, I think, twice a week. Um, I just... I'm trying to put out quite a bit of content. Let's go, buddy. Move over. Um, and it's it's a lot of content, but it's a lot of editing and time, which I'm glad to do because I enjoy the process. But sometimes when you've got like six hours of hockey, it's a lot. To, it's, it's a lot to do. So I'm gonna get more content out for for that. These videos are starting to hit like ten minutes. It's like it's like long, but I think. A lot of people, a lot of you guys enjoy that. So I'm wrapping it up here for right now. And we will be back a little bit later. Wednesday, busy day in Oakville for start of a new reno, then to my house, then to the office, then to the gym, then out to Hamilton negotiating offers, and I can officially say we are conditionally sold at 100 Graham Avenue South part of Delta in Hamilton. Super excited for my clients. It's a great deal. I think the buyers um, got a good deal too. I think everybody's happy. The uh, other agent is <clears throat> fantastic to deal with. You know, it, it makes this business a lot easier when the other agent, when both agents are um, cooperative with each other, you know, want to get the deal done and get a great deal for their respective clients, but are willing to work together. So many times, not so many times, but there are times when agents, I think, take it upon themselves to try and make the deal more about them than about, you know, the buyer and seller. This agent didn't do that. She was, she was excellent. She was great. So it's a breath of fresh air to make, you know, to get, uh, an agent that wants and their their buyers to the clients to, to want to do something so bravo to her awesome deal for everybody involved and um we're still coming on the market because you never know it is uh it is conditional uh so i'm going to be doing an open house on saturday 100 graham avenue south if you're thinking about making that move if you're an agent that has clients that do want to come see the house, please, you're more than welcome to. I'd love to see you guys at the open house. And that's it. I got hockey tonight. I'm going to be doing uh, some filming. But for today's video, I think that's it. I think we're done for today. You guys are just as tired as I am. 5 a.m. till 6 o'clock. And we got hockey tonight, 10, 10 p.m. Busy day. We got an even busier day tomorrow. We're in Oakville at the Reno, getting a bunch of stuff done. So, um, gas, gas is down to a dollar three. On another note, gas was down to 84 cents, the lowest in like years in Hamilton. 
I like doing some gas war or something in, in Hamilton. We're down to a dollar, dollar four here in Burlington. I need gas. Good time to go out and buy it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.